Good morning, hello and welcome back. You know what, it's about 9.40, okay? It's not my usual time, but you know what, never late than ever, right? Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday morning. And this morning, uh, I'm gonna show, uh, so I'm gonna show you kind of like live demo or uh, demonstration on the Easy Presser, okay? Easy Presser, the hand grinder. So this one, again, uh, I'm gonna big shout out to the Murphy from Easy Presso sending us to you know, take a look at this hand grinder. So this is a J Max from Easy Presso. And so far I'm pretty impressed, pretty, pretty impressed with it. The price is right as well. Okay, so this one is selling for $1.99 on Amazon. And I'm gonna put the link down below. And man, okay, I use a lot of hand grinder in my life so far, okay? So far, this is the the best hand grinder I ever used, okay, personally. I'm not saying that because they sent me this, because I'm saying this because my own experience. So this is pretty impressive. Okay, so uh, past couple years I've been using San Antonio Industry, the mid right hand grinder, and also I've been using various, the hand grinder from Amazon as well. So, and also um, I have a niche grinder and DF64, even the built-in grinder from uh, Barber Barista Express. But this one is, the reason why I'm pretty impressed with it, okay, so this one has 48 millimeter, the conical burr, okay? Conical burr set with a titanium coated. So 48 millimeter with a titanium coated. Not only that, okay, so if you guys are looking for, so there's a couple of different uh, types of grinder. One for espresso, like this one, and also like pour over and pour over like French press. So this is not, okay, so this one, obviously you can do all of them, but this is more for espresso, okay? The reason why it's more for espresso because the, hopefully I can show you guys. So, so each number, so here we go, one, two. So each number represent is one click, okay? It's not a one click. So hopefully you guys can hear it. You guys, you guys are going to hear the clicking noise. Okay, so from here, you got two. The next level is the five, okay? So you got one, two, three, four, five, okay? So two, two through three, it's not a just one click, there are 10 clicks. So this one has over 90 clicks on this one, okay? Just one revolution has 90 clicks. So in contrary, okay, so this is over 90 clicks in just one revolution. So this one has over like 900 different settings. Compared to Bravo Brista Express, uh, 16 different settings, okay? 16 versus 900. And then, or maybe like 90 different settings. So you got 16 versus 90, okay? Uh, if you're looking at the uh, uh, DF64, so this is a step grinder, but with DF64, this is more like step less. So this one is, it can be a lot more precise, but okay, so each click represents about 8.8 .8 micron. So let's put that in perspective. Uh, so let's say the Easy Press makes, uh, it's called K Plus, kind of a multi-purpose hand grinder there. Uh, it's about like 12, wait, I think it's about 20 micron, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but 12 micron, and also you can go to the JX Pro model, is about 12.5 micron. So, again, so this is a specially made for espresso and 8.8 .8 micron, that is pretty low number. Uh, so, the Weber makes a wonderful coffee grinder, the Weber Easy One, that costs about what, over $3,000. So, so, Easy One is also a, a step grinder as well, but each click on the Weber is about 5 micron, okay? So, so this is like more like 8.8 .8 micron. So for what you paying for, the, so what you paying for the quality, you know what, I'm thoroughly impressed. Okay, I have to say, okay. I mean, if, if you guys are looking for hand grinder for your espresso, definitely check these guys out, okay. Because, I mean, you know, you, again, you don't have to buy because, you know, I recommend it. You know, I, well, hopefully I can show you guys enough to you know, make your own decision. But so far, 
by the way, so this is not a, a screws, it's, it's magnetic, okay? Comes with a high power, the magnetic, pretty nice. And what else? Uh, there comes with a uh, beautiful carrying case as well, brush, and this uh, little uh, cleaning tool. Look like camera lens cleaner. Just, you know, clean out your burr, all the dust. So all the shaft as well, shaft. So I mean, again, uh, they actually give it a, uh, give it a good thoughts on when uh, when they are designing the hand grinder. So with uh, you can get it from Amazon, but they have a J series, and the price range is pretty good. You are looking at what low hundred up to. So this one is J Max. So it's about one ninety nine. So it's about two hundred dollar range there, and also they have another model, but and. Let, let's say because the entry level hand grinder from Amazon, you are looking at between like 40 and 50 bucks. And there's something like mid range, uh, like San Anthony industry, the mid right grinder, you are looking around 150. And uh, with the 150, you have a lot of different, you know, hand grinders out there. Obviously, we have the, you know, Easy Presso, we got the Timor Max, great grinder. Uh, who else makes? Uh, a, a few other companies, okay, they have really good mid-range price, but if you go after high-end, obviously you guys know like Comandante is fantastic. Who else? We got Comandante, uh, we got the Kinu. They got a whole bunch, okay, they have a, like $300 or up, they have a lot of high-end grinder. But unfortunately, I have not experienced with those grinders, but for this one, so far so good. Okay, I'm really impressed. So, uh, so let's put the show. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm going to pull the shot, okay. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do, hopefully next week or so. I mean, I, I wanna get to know this grinder better, so, and then uh, next time, I'm going to take it apart, okay. I'm gonna show you the internal uh, burr set as well. So we are going to dismantle this and the show is the beer quality, but so far, feels really nice. Magnetic, I really like that. And uh, let's put the shot, I'm gonna put 18 gram in it. And then let's measure, uh, let's time it, how long it's gonna take. Because uh, last time I uh, grind 18 gram, took me what, 90 seconds? So this one, okay, I'm at 120 clicks, okay? 120 clicks. Because I tried with like 20 clicks last night. No, way, way too fine. So, so I'm at 120 on, on clicks on this one. And uh, we're going to put 18 gram in it. And then let's pull the shot. And then, so let's see the shot quality as well. Okay. So I'm going to just, put, I got, already has 18 gram ready to go. So this one, maximum, you can put 40 gram in it. So, so you can do some, you know, good size pour over as well. Okay, I'm just gonna lock it in. So it comes with a plastic uh, top so it doesn't spill out your grinder, okay? Here we go, start the time. Pretty smooth, okay. I mean, if you have like manual machine at home, if you're like flare or robot, or like even a rock espresso. You want to go all manual? I mean, this is not bad, okay? This is pretty good, good option as well. And it comes with a like rubber thing it to, you can actually grip better. Okay, I'm into 36 seconds right now. 41, okay. 50. So this is, yeah, it's about 50 seconds, okay? So about 50 seconds to grind, uh, let's see, uh, 18 gram, okay? 50 seconds, pretty good. It's about, goodness, with my sanity industry, took me like 75 to 90 seconds. More, more like 90 seconds, minute and a half. So this one took me, what, 50 seconds. So pretty good, okay? Very, very smooth. Okay, okay, so let's put everything together here. 
I know, uh, I know, Justin, I think you are watching this. I think a commandante takes what, a minute and a half, right? Okay, let me know in the comment section how long it's gonna take a uh, grind 18 gram, okay, with the commandante. Okay, I'm just gonna hit on my pori filter. So this is J, so this is J Max, okay, J X Max. So again, if you guys are looking for uh, espresso, has a lot of grinder setting, guys, okay? I mean, one revolution has 90 different clicks, the 90 adjustment, because I don't know what's the Commandante. Uh, I, I'm not sure about the Commandante, but because the Commandante, you can actually upgrade this correct click to give you even more finer settings, but so far, this is not bad, pretty good. Okay, I'm just gonna, again, it's not screw, just a magnetic here. I'm just gonna, okay, pretty clean. There's no static issues. I'm just gonna use my WDT tool. So whenever I use my bottomless, I like to use my WDT. By the way, how many people saw the, the James Hoffman did a video on the 3D print, okay? Again, if you have a 3D print, you can print this one out for fairly cheap. Or better, you have your friend have one. Just make sure just have your friend make it for you. Okay, I'm just going to do that here. I'm just going to do my, just, you know, my regular workflow, do the distribution. And I'm just going to temp, okay? And then sometimes I use a puck screen as well. Uh, puck screen, this one I got from Etsy store, but by the way, people thinks, okay, people wants to buy the puck screen for better flow control. Not really, okay? I mean, this is good for uh, getting a clean puck, that's about it, okay? It's not gonna give you any difference in the shot quality, but give you, at least give you a, a clean uh, shower screen and dry puck okay but i'm not going to use that right now i'm just going to show you as is all right so i'm going to pull the shot i'm going to start time when i start the button so i got 18 gram in and hopefully around 36 to like 40 gram out there okay let's find out okay all right let's see the shot quality of j max from easy presser Um, I'm actually anxious to see this. Shot looks pretty good. Okay. Actually, shot looks very nice. A little bit of channeling there. But I expect it. Yeah, it sure looks. 30 seconds. It's not bad. Okay. Actually, you know what? Quite a. Yeah, it's a channel is pretty bad. I, hold on. Let's examine the. Yeah, the shot looks great. But. Yeah, I see a lot of channeling. But. Maybe we should do. Uh, you know what? Let's. Maybe do one more time, okay? It, it could be my WDT. Uh, yeah, it could be my WDT, so. So it took me, what, 31 seconds at uh, 30, 36 grams, so it's a good. Comes to number-wise, this is fine. But uh, I think I'm going to make, let's say 20, I'm gonna go maybe one dial, uh, one lower click, okay? I'm gonna go maybe, not the 120, maybe 119, maybe. Yeah, let, maybe 119. I wanna slow down the shot a tiny bit more. So let's do uh, two more clicks down. So let's do one more time, okay? But overall shot quality is good. The take a look at the puck screen as well. Nice and dry as, yep. Nice and dry, so, Comes to making a shot, it's not bad. Pretty good. 
Yeah. So, so let's put one more shot. And then if you, if you guys have any questions, ask me. Okay. So this is the first shot. I'm just going to. And then again, uh, we're going to do another 18 gram. Okay. So where's my scale? By the way, how many of you out there looking for hand grinder right now? Okay, because I mean, if you are spending, I mean, there is that price point that you know once you pass certain price point, I mean, you want to buy same, uh, you you want to buy automatic grinder rather than electric grinder rather than the hand grinder, but. Again, the two hundred dollar range, one hundred and fifty and two hundred, is kind of like sweet spot. So, okay, so I'm gonna do another eighteen gram. So before we took us about seven, what, fifty seconds last time. So let's do one more time here. Let's find out how long it's gonna take. Okay. Okay, here we go. So last time was uh, 50 seconds and this time, this is the shot number two. I saw some company makes this uh, electric motor connected to your hand grinder so you didn't have to spin it. I think they got, they, I think they have one for like Commandante, I think. Okay. So one, last time was uh, 50 and this time about 45, 45 seconds. That's it. So I'm grinding 18 gram in under 50 seconds. Okay. Compare to uh, let me know if you have a commandante, okay? How long is it going to take you to grind 18 gram? With the San Antonio industry, took me 90 seconds. Between, seven, wait, between eight, uh, 75 and 90, uh, depend on the, the, roast, uh, uh, the roast level. So this one was about 45 seconds. I'm using the medium. Okay. I'm just going to tap it, just to make sure, get all the coffee grinds out. All right, so let's do that one more time. So last time was, it wasn't that good, okay? We, you guys saw a lot of channeling, so hopefully this time, let's fix that. Okay. I'm going to use my another WDT tool. So this is 3D print from... Uh, Actually, this one I got from John Kim from Espresso Aficionado. So John's printing out this one for me. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to do a distribution here. Give it a good temp. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm just going to hit up my shot glass. I feel like this one, I think, uh, I feel like I did better prepare than last one. So I'm just going to clean up my coffee machine. All right. We're going to do the exactly same shot. Okay. Like one before we're going to do one to two ratio. And then I'm going to start time when I press the button there. Because the last one we got, you know, we have some channeling, but hopefully this one, we fix this.
Shaw looks really good so far. The extra, the WDT definitely helped, okay. A little bit channeling right now, but it's not too bad. Yeah, pretty good, okay. Overall, shot quality is excellent, okay. A lot better than before. Okay, the, the reason why, okay, as you can see, yeah, really, really dark. Yeah, it looks really good. But except the charming to the end. Okay, with Bravo Bristol uh, Express, as you guys know, it's more like 14 bar pressure coming down. So in the beginning, it's beautiful shot coming down and then to the end, that terrible, uh, kind of like a taper up, you see some little bit of charming. So, and unfortunately that's, man, that's, would have much choice there. Okay, so let's try this shot. Okay. Okay. So this is the second shot. Cheers. Wow. You know what? This is not bad at all. Give you more fuller flavor. Very similar to niche. Let's put it that way. Okay, my niche grinder. Okay, uh, let's try the, uh, try the other shots. Uh, so this is the earlier shot, okay. It's been sitting down for what, a couple minutes, but we'll see. Obviously the second shot is better because I feel like, you know, I did a better job preparing it. I like the shot time. Yeah, so this, I, I like the first, sh uh, second shot much better, but overall, comes to taste wise, give you more body, okay, more texture than built-in grinder for sure. But comes to, you know, is that easy to use? Yeah, I mean, goodness. I mean, it takes what, 50 seconds compared to like 20 seconds on uh, built-in grinder. So, I mean, okay, I mean, what do you guys think? Okay, how many of you, you know, actually interesting in uh, hand grinder, okay? And then let me know also, let me know what is your budget star. Because if you're planning on spending about between 15 and not, uh, 150 to 200 dollar range, you're gonna have some really high quality coffee grinder. And then once you go up to like Commandante level, I mean, I don't, again, I, I love to try the Commandante because I love to compare that with Easy Presso, the J Max. Because I wonder it's gonna be same level, I'm not sure. If so, what's the difference in the, the taste is very subjective, but I mean, least I'm the one doing it. I mean, I can tell you guys I like it or not. So, but again, uh, yeah. Uh, any questions about this? Yeah. Um, so okay. Any questions? Okay, for this one, I mean, is that easy? Because it, again, so this is a step grinder, so you know, obviously you're gonna remember the uh, numbers. But if you're gonna do coarser, I mean, you have to just you know take down the numbers. So right now I'm at uh, 120, so 118 right now. So if you're gonna do coarser, you have to go clockwise, okay, and then you have to go many many times because this is so fine, so. I mean, that's why some people have two separate grinder, uh, one for the pour over and one for the espresso. So again, it's all depend on your lifestyle, but yes, uh, it does work, but it's, it's a little bit more hassle. Well, let's put it that way, it's hassle. So. So Eric asked me, hand grinder. Yes, uh, uh, I'm gonna do that soon, Eric. Uh, so I'm planning on doing uh, compare, uh, what, uh, let's say Easy Press versus uh, San Anthony. And also we have the, uh, I have the Amazon grinder too. So I'm gonna compare all three and see, you know, which one gives you, because you, you don't wanna get fine. I mean, as you saw the video from last couple, uh, couple days, with the conical burr, Especially the niche does not give you any fines. 
even though we have the you know you have you know it's it wasn't uniformity like flat burr but the f64 uh, gives you more fine than conical burr again but this is a, a lot more uniform so it all depends on what you guys like okay okay Okay, so this one has a taste difference between niche. With the niche, it's not bad. You know what? But uh, I'm gonna do that again, okay? Because because I don't want to do side by side test. So maybe uh, let's do that. Maybe like this coming weekend. So niche versus this. So 48 millimeter titanium coated versus we got the 63 millimeter conical burr on niche. So let's put to the test. Okay, let's do, uh, put through the uh, sifter as well. Okay, with a sifter, and then let's see. Okay, we, which one comes give you better uniformity, or I mean, flavor can be subjective, but you know, yeah. So let's compare that this weekend. How much is it again? Comes the price wise, uh, this thing is one ninety nine. Okay, so two hundred bucks. Uh, uh, if you guys wanna, okay. By the way, uh, you guys, you guys have a few way to support our channel. Okay, whatever you see the link on below the description section through Amazon, I got a, a small commission out of it. So, I mean, that's a good way to support the channel. And also, uh, I'm affiliate with the Fellow Coffee. You know, Fellow Coffee makes Fellow Stack, the Monte Cups, they are a great coffee company. And also, I'm, I'm their part of their affiliate program. So, you know, uh, you make sure you use the Hoon 10, okay? That's 10% off coupon, because you guys get 10% off. And also, I got a tiny commission as well. So, it's kind of a like win-win for everybody. And the IC Super sticker, Melbourne. Melbourne. I'm gonna big shout out to Melbourne from, I think Melbourne is from Malaysia, I think, uh, Singapore, Malaysia. So, big shout out to that. So, so far we raised, so with that, uh, over six hundred and forty dollars. Okay, again, I'm gonna big shout out to Andy the other day. He, you know, he contributed, you know, good amount. So now we are around six forty. Yeah, getting. So my goal is like thousand from you. Uh, from from you guys and I'm gonna pitch in another thousand and then I'm gonna get a sponsor some kind of sponsorship from you know coffee companies out there and get a, another thousand so maybe three thousand dollar coffee machine from our channel yeah we'll see okay let's hopefully get it done by end of year uh, let's take a few more questions okay how strong is this magnet okay okay so I'm, I'm just gonna go like this. It, it's pretty, pretty sturdy, okay? Pretty strong, okay? So this is one of those like a you know, hard drive magnet, but make sure you gotta line it up, okay? Make sure you gotta line it up. If not, it's not gonna be, so it's pretty good, pretty strong. But, but just make sure hold it if you, if you don't grip properly, sometimes you, you might push away, but I haven't had that issues yet, but it's pretty good, okay? Would you prefer the bottom to be threaded instead? Okay, so someone asked me, I, I like to be threaded versus this. So this is really convenient. I mean, either way, okay? I mean, I do like the threaded version, but I mean, I really like the feel of it. I mean, this is really convenient. Okay. You know what? I, I don't know. Okay. I, I mean, let me know what you guys think. I know some of you out there own this. I know some of you, quite a few people owns the uh, uh, J Max. So yeah, let me know in the comment section. Yeah, you guys prefer the threaded or magnetic? So far, I'm okay with this. But 50 second, uh, 45 to 50 second for 18 gram versus I know Commandante is like over minutes for sure, minute, minute and a half. So, hey, Justin, if you are watching, uh, let me know. Okay, how long is it gonna take? Grind 18 gram. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, anything else? How does the hand grinder do? How's the hand? Do against the gravel smart grinder for espresso. Okay. How's the hand grinder versus the gravel hand grinder? You know what? Hold on. So, okay. So you guys saw the. I mean, you guys have been watching my videos for a while. So it comes to grinder wise, you know, let's pull the shot, okay? Why not? Okay. Uh, who's asking? Um, Yo Rock. 
Yo Brock asked me, Hun, why, why don't you pull the shot with built-in grinder? Okay, you know, let's do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set at number seven on the built-in grinder because I mean, that's how I started. I mean, I usually go number seven and then uh, looking at the shot, I go up and down. So, yeah, so let's do that right now. Okay, so let's make it quick because I have to go to work soon. Someone asked me, is there a flat per hand grinder? You know what? No. I haven't seen it, okay? I don't know how it's gonna, I don't know how, I don't know how it's gonna be possible to make the flat per hand grinder because that's because a conical burr, it does not take a lot of space. So it's a lot easier to make and cheaper to make. But yeah, man, uh, let me know in the comment section if anyone knows the flat per hand grinder, okay? I haven't, I haven't seen it. Okay, Justin say, Justin has a commandante with a red click. He didn't tell me exactly how long, but too long. Okay, that is the answer, too long. So. Are you gonna prove the grinds from that grinder? Say that again? Are you gonna prove the grinds from that grinder? You mean sift. No, I'm not gonna sift, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna show you the we are going to pull the shot from built-in grinder, okay? And then... Uh, is that grinder better than St. Anthony's in your opinion? Uh, someone asked me, is a Z Easy Press so grinder is better than St. Anthony industry? Comes to espresso, answer is yes. Because St. Anthony industry grinder takes like 90 seconds to do 18 gram. This one, what, less than 50 seconds, so yeah. And so, I mean, uh, but we are going to do actual test, okay, uh, this weekend, let's do that. I'm gonna bring the sifter and the, let's sift it out. And because that's why a lot of people out there, you know, m most, have, most people have more than one grinder at home. So one, one for the dedicated espresso and also uh, with the pour over as well. So it all depends on your, Hobby. I mean, if a coffee is if a coffee is not your hobby, okay. My thoughts on my thoughts on that is you're not gonna be enjoying the hand grinder because with the hand grinder, I mean, I mean you have to love it, okay. Unless you want something inexpensive, something cheap to make coffee in the morning. Uh, don't spend two hundred dollars on hand grinder. Um, that case, you just get yourself, you know. You know, inexpensive grinder out there like burr grinder and then they cost what 50 bucks 60 bucks you can get a nice burr grinder electric so yeah I mean I mean that's what I would do it but if you are serious about coffee and coffee is your hobby like me it is a lot of fun so right now I'm doing the built-in grinder uh, do the 18 again I like electric, okay, but if you want the really fine adjustment, if you want to do fine adjustment there, this one really impresses me, okay. 0.8, no, 8 micron, boy, that is, that is pretty cool, okay. I'm just going to do WDT on my built-in grinder. I'm, I'm going to do the exactly the same, okay? Do the distribute. I'm going to temp. So you're to bring your crew to work today. Okay, and then let's do that. All right, so let's pull the shot, okay? And then what kind of shot quality are we going to get? So, I mean, you guys saw the uh, J Max. And now you guys are going to see the built-in grinder. Okay, so we got everything here. Got my cup. Uh, so we do the, again, one to two ratio. I like the one to two so far. Hold on, let me flip the camera around.
Your shirt looks good. Not bad. You see some channeling there as well. Yep, channeling, channeling. Yep, more channeling, goodness. Okay, so I... <laughs> okay, yours mess. 38 gram at 40, 38 seconds, okay. So it comes to overall, shot time is great. I mean, that, I mean, that's what I like. But you see that channeling there? What a mess. So it comes to quality of shot, uh, comes to aesthetic wise, uh, easy presser definitely performs better uh, with the J Max. The, the fact is, you know what, I don't have to tell you guys, you guys just saw, okay, the shot quality. By the way, I'm using the, fre uh, this is a freshly roasted coffee beans from Group Brothers too, August 12th. Uh, what, seven days ago? Wait, August 12th, so two days, what, uh, about 10 days ago, okay, 24, 12 days ago, so this is really fresh. I just opened it this morning. So I'm, I'm using the freshly uh, roasted coffee beans with comparing built-in grinder and what else? Uh, Easy Presso, man, there's no, but you know what, let's try the shot, okay, let's try, because it's not about uh, how, it's not about how it looks. It's about how it tastes. So, cheers. Okay, it's good. Fantastic. Comes to shot quality. It's like as good as this one. I mean, I cannot tell the difference there. But comes to uh, sh aesthetic wise, using bottomless pore filter, obviously. 48 millimeter conical burst set is better. Okay, give you that more even distribution. So built-in grinder, I believe is what? 42, 40 or 42 millimeter conical burst set. So I guess the bigger is the better. Okay, fact is, give you that, you know, better the grind, uh, grind quality. So let's take a look at some puck to, you know, again, all dry pucks as well. Nice and clean. So, the fact is, you know what, can't go wrong with the built-in grinder. I know a lot of people out there, you guys don't like the built-in grinder, but I've been using it for over the years. I'm pretty happy with it. Anyway, I hope this video helps, okay? I hope this video help you, you know, give you a better, you know, give you guys enough information to make a better decision on your, you know, next time buying one. By the way, I just heard the news, okay? It's about 30, what, eight of you watching this right now? Uh, I, 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 I just heard that the supply chain is getting scare, uh, scarcity uh, over a coming month, so they recommend do all your Christmas shopping now, okay? So make sure to check it out as well. Make sure, yeah, because I, my wife just told me this morning, uh, we need to start shopping for Christmas now okay so she's saying no but anyway uh any any other questions this morning no. i think we're pretty good okay there was that's a lot of fun okay make sure uh, press like on the video support this channel again uh, support this channel by buying from my link and also use that fellow discount code okay hun oh, um, hold on oh who's that uh, we have Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Uh, if you want to sell your Commandante, let me know, okay? I, I love to buy from you, Jordan. Okay. I, I love to buy from your Commandante because I, mean, I, because I do want to compare with Commandante and Easy Presso. You know, better yet, why don't you let, uh, yeah. Yeah, why don't you sell me one or you can, I can borrow for maybe a couple of weeks. Okay, it'd be fun. And I, I'd be happy to pay for shipping costs, okay? So yeah, if you have a commandante, yeah, let me know. Because I don't think Justin wants to lend me his commandante from Canada, so yeah. Anyway, uh, if you have a commandante, don't bother, okay? Because I don't know what's the, the increase in quality there, but comes to 
if you don't have any hand grinder but if you if you really want to get into espresso so this is a pretty good option and it, i mean you know don't take my word for it you know do your research okay do your research on it as well but you know i mean you guys see me with my live streaming so hopefully give you enough information okay well, what else okay i know you guys want to sift or test so we're going to do that this weekend so it's the sifter test is interesting the it's not it's not going to tell you which one is a better tasting coffee but it's going to show you visually which one has a better uniform the quality of grind size so that's the one you know that's really fun to use but i mean sifter is great if you are serious about coffee really serious about coffee and um, but they're amazing uh, tools to have but regular people like us i mean that i it may not help them it may not help but again uh we are going to do that uh coming uh, coming days not coming weeks coming days so it's gonna be a lot of fun i can't wait so compare with the niche and easy presso and also let's compare that with uh other hand grinder i have san, uh, san anthony industry right hand grinder versus easy press so because the price range is about $50 difference 150 versus 200 so anyway I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday morning and then I might do another live streaming later at my coffee dungeon but uh, we'll see all right I hope you guys are having a great day